I'm pretty sure that all of our parents and grandparents have told us when we were children that eating too much sugar is bad for you. In this video, I'm going to take a look at a new review that looked at how dangerous added sugar in your diet can be. Do it. So the study is actually pretty new, April 5th, 2023, and Dietary Sugar Consumption and Health Umbrella Review. So this is actually a review of 73 meta-analyses and 8,601 unique articles, which is uh, obviously like a massive <laughs> literature review view of like it's a meta-analysis of meta-analyses and uh, yeah it's pretty wide uh, like a lot of data involved in this they did find a significant harmful association between dietary sugar consumption and 18 endocrine metabolic outcomes 10 cardiovascular outcomes seven cancer outcomes and 10 other outcomes moderate quality evidence suggested that the highest versus lowest dietary sugar consumption was associated with increased body weight and ectopic fatty accumulation low quality evidence indicated that each serving per week increment of sugar sweetened beverage consumption was associated with a 4% higher risk of gout and each 250 milliliter a day increment of sugar sweetened beverage consumption was associated with a 17% and 4% higher risk of coronary heart disease and all cause mortality. So every 250 milliliter consumption of a sugar sweetened beverages like a half bottle of a coke was associated with 4% a higher risk of all-cause mortality, which means that one bottle of Coke, which is about 500 milliliters, is associated with a 8% increased risk of mortality. In addition, low-quality evidence suggested that every 25 grams per day increment of fructose consumption was associated with a 22% higher risk of pancreatic cancer. Like I said in the beginning, pretty much everyone already knows intuitively that uh, excess sugar and too much added sugars will be bad for your health and uh, does increase the risk of many diseases. But getting diabetes in the first place increases the risk of many other diseases. Diabetes increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and stroke by up to 1.8 to 6 fold. Up to 50% of diabetics die from cardiovascular disease. Overall, diabetics have a risk of death twice as high as those without diabetes. Diabetes is also linked with dementia and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. When you look at the top causes of death worldwide, then diabetes is actually on the lower end. It's like number nine. And number one is going to be coronary heart disease and stroke. The issue is that diabetes increases the risk of stroke. And many people who have coronary artery disease, they also have diabetes. And the reason they got to the coronary artery disease and stroke was because of diabetes in the first place. You don't really die to diabetes. You get diabetes and then you die to heart disease. It's estimated that up to 400 million people in the world have diabetes. Over half of US adults have diabetes or pre-diabetes. Of course, there are many other causes to diabetes other than excess sugar consumption, but added sugar intake is one of the biggest predictors or biggest risk factors of developing diabetes in the first place. Added sugar overconsumption also promotes premature death, cardiovascular disease, fatty liver disease, and heart disease. Of course, if you are a healthy and fit person, then you can get away with consuming some sugars and even consuming sugar sweetened beverages because you burn a lot of those calories for energy and you're very insulin sensitive. Your muscles soak up all the glucose and the sugar that you do eat and it doesn't have that big of a metabolic consequence. If you're sedentary, then your insulin sensitivity is lower, your glycemic control is also lower, and thus the risk of developing diabetes is even much even greater when you are consuming added sugars in uh, large quantities. And this review that we just talked about also concluded that high dietary sugar consumption is generally more harmful than beneficial for health, especially in cardiometabolic disease. Reducing the consumption of free sugars or added sugars to below 25 grams a day which is approximately six teaspoons a day and limiting the consumption of sugar sweetened beverages to less than one serving per week which is approximately 200 to 355 milliliters per week are recommended to reduce the adverse effects of sugar on health if you're a person who exercises regularly you are very fit and physically active then you can even consume up to 300 500 grams of carbs a day in the short term with no uh, issues but you would have to make sure that you do maintain that physically active lifestyle because once you stop the physically active lifestyle once you stop exercising then consuming those 500 grams of carbs a day or 300 grams of carbs a day will probably still still lead to developing insulin resistance and diabetes over the, over the over some time. It's just that if you are physically active, then you just have a much bigger buffer zone, much bigger 
let's say, energy demand and sugar consumption, sugar demand that you just burn through the sugar with no issues. But if you're sedentary, you're overweight, you already have symptoms of prediabetes and metabolic syndrome, then for that individual, the sugar intake should definitely be somewhat uh, moderated. So the overall message of this video and the study is that generally added sugar intake and especially added sugar sweetened beverage consumption increases the risk of multiple chronic conditions, especially cardiovascular disease and all cause mortality. If you are a physically active person, then yes, you can get away with it a little bit, but there isn't a lot of health benefits to sugar besides just the quick energy that you get. There's little to no health benefits to actually getting sugar in the table sugar form. Natural sugars and glucose and fructose from fruit and uh, vegetables and other tubers, etc., and honey maybe, that can be you know safe, but the added sugar, the sucrose that you add to processed foods generally is harmful. If you do want to know how to optimize your blood sugar levels and improve your insulin sensitivity, then check out my new book with Dr. James De Nicola Antonio called The Blood Sugar Fix on Amazon. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.